So this is the Samsung Gear 360 VR camera. It has two fisheye lenses on either side. Now this camera is recording 180 degrees horizontally and 180 degrees vertically. So when you stitch the two bits of video together, you end up with 360 degree spherical video. Now even though this camera is quite small, it actually has quite a good weight to it, quite a solid feel. Behind this little door here is where you access the memory card, the battery and the port to charge it. And there's also a rubber gasket because this camera is meant to be dust proof and splash proof. On this side, you've got the on off button and also the menu function. So you can toggle between video, image, time lapse and video looping. And on the top, a very small screen and also the on off button for recording. To get the most out of this camera, you do really need to pair it with a compatible Samsung phone. With the app on this phone, you get to really dive into the menu functions and change things like the resolution, the white balance, the uh, exposure and so on. And also you get a live view to see what the camera is actually seeing. So I really think you do need a phone to get the best out of this camera. The camera comes with a small tripod. Now I use this mainly just to keep it safe on my desk, but this tripod can be removed and it can be attached to a lighting stand, which is probably what you'd want to be using when you go out shooting. So I've connected the camera to the top of the light stand. When you're recording 360 video, it's a good idea to use something thin like a light stand because it's gonna be less intrusive than let's say a bulky tripod because you will see something at the bottom of your 360 video. What I'm gonna do now is connect the camera to the phone. So I'll switch the camera on and then I'll go to the Gear 360 app on the phone and connect the phone to the camera. The phone lets me monitor what the camera is seeing and also gives me access to some of the settings so I can change the white balance and exposure for instance and also make sure it's recording at the highest possible resolution. Just bear in mind there will be a stitch point that goes all the way around the video. So just try and point the camera in the most interesting direction to avoid things passing through the stitch point too much. If the camera's not actually moving, it can be a good idea just to weigh down the light stand when you're ready to go, all you need to do is hit record on the phone and then move out a shot. Obviously the camera's gonna see everything. So if you don't wanna be in the shot, you need to get out of the way. So we recorded about a minute of footage using the Samsung VR camera. And now I'm gonna show you the workflow to stitch that video together. So I'm using my Samsung phone and I go to the Gear 360 app. So I open that up and then turn on my camera and I click more and connect. So the phone and the camera are connecting together. Then I click the gear 360 tab and it opens up and you can see all the different clips that are on the camera. I select the clip that I want to stitch together and this is where you can do a few different things like share, trim, save or delete. What I'm gonna do is click save, and that will start saving the video from the camera onto the mobile phone, and in the process, also stitch it together. So you must keep the phone and the camera close to each other, otherwise you'll break the Bluetooth connection. And this video was one minute in length, and it takes about four minutes to stitch it and transfer it over to the mobile phone. So we'll let that happen, and then we'll have a look at the clip on the mobile phone. There's also software that will do the stitching on a PC but not a Mac. But people have found that it's actually faster using the phone compared to a PC, but it probably really depends on the speed of your PC. So once the process has happened, the dialog box will close and then you'll find that you will have the clip on your mobile device. So you can click on that clip, and then when you click in the center here on that 360 icon, you can then see that you have your fully stitched 360 video. So what I need to do is now connect my phone to my computer. I'm actually using a Mac. So using a piece of software, I can transfer the file from the phone onto the Mac, and then I'm gonna take it into Premiere to compare the clips together.